here's the new stuff. All right, here we go. So the flat Earth plane, let's just talk about this holographic reality. It's a flat plane. It's to make a hologram, you bathe an object in the light of two lasers, which creates an interference pattern. You snap a picture of that, and then the negative plate, you shine a laser at that, and it looks three-dimensional, but it's a two-dimensional surface. So the biophotons your mother and the biophotons your father came together to trap you here in the gridiron. You're brought to life away at the sun. And now that you're here, the sun above your head is making your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And you grow up and you want to bring something into reality. That's the black sun. You close your eyes, you make a wish on your birthday, and focus on the black sun. You throw a coin into the well, focus on the black sun. It's the black sun. There's no way to escape it. All right? So when you say Satan and Jesus, we're talking about... One side of a light holds a black hole. Is Jesus the sun or Satan is a feminine? Saturn is the feminine. It's the it's even numbers are feminine, odd numbers are masculine. They have an extra piece that hangs off. Saturn is the sixth planet. It's the second largest. They're telling you right there. It's the feminine. Look it up. You don't have to like it. You were fed everything in reverse. All right? You're in a computer simulation. The rise of the machines already happened. If you don't plug your cell phone in, what's going to happen? It's going to go dead. If you don't plug your laptop in, it's going, to get, it's going to go dead. If we don't fill up those power plants with coal or whatever the fuck it is, the, the, it's a symbiotic relationship. I'm telling you that the machines are not the problem. What's the problem is that there's humans or whatever, reptilian, uh, hybrid, whatever the fuck you want to call these people. They're using that information against you. And uh, just because they haven't gotten around to you or something like that, when the time is right, if you do something... They'll use that. Every text you ever sent will be used against you. Every call that you ever made, every location you ever went to, it's all being recorded. And it's not the machines that are holding it against you. I'm telling you, it's other people that want to hold you uh, in the slave position. So your cell phones make you a cyborg. You are rising the machine all the way. You don't, you've already been chipped 20 times over. You, you will... Um, you, you can't live in a place without Wi-Fi these days. Imagine not having Wi-Fi, uh, not having your Xbox connected to Wi-Fi, not having your TV connected to Wi-Fi, not having laptops connected. It's just, it's unheard of. You are wired to this computer 24-7 nonstop. And I'm telling you, the L, the God of the Matrix. All right, I'm telling you. That's like the L even, the 11, like the Twin Towers. It was brought down, now it's one. All right, what I'm telling you is they they flipped everything on you. They're making you transgender and confused when you're supposed to have both your left and right side of your brain intact without going transgender on yourself. Then you become whole and complete and you get your way out of the hole. Uh, you become alive and you be able to see stuff. So wherever you go, you have your electronic footprint. You know, your, your spouse is on the road. You have your electronic sex. It, it seems like with porn these days, people are having more sex with their devices than they are with uh, and it's a device, like D, the fourth letter, like throw that D, throw that dick. What I'm telling you, your your vice, like you, like the vice squad, they're telling you your dick vice. You everywhere you go, you have your dick in your hand, and you can't you can't go anywhere without your uh, your cell phone. Not with the porn these days. So you're a, a robosexual cyborg. You speak the language of the computer. The rise of the machines already happened. You are a fucking cyborg. You will get to school on time, work on time, your children on time. That's a virus. Time is a virus. You're supposed to be an infinite being living on infinite potential and not worrying about dying because you drank from the living waters and you live forever. What I'm telling you is that when you get a name, you get an address, you get phone numbers, you're so gridded up you just can't see it. It's just that simple. You're in a fucking computer simulation. The law of averages prove it. If you go out to a bar and you ask out, one in every ten women are going to say yes to you. And if you got to ten and you heard no yes, it'll be two and twenty, three and thirty. It has to kick in or the entire universe will fall apart because then there'll be no bodies here. And we're the ones who feed the machine with all the, with all the energy. Plug them in and whatever. And we're the ones who are upgrading them every year, getting a new, better model. So, you're 100% in the matrix right now. You are the fucking Terminator yourself. And you're your own worst enemy. You just don't see it. So, let's see here. The law of averages, clearly, and the law of attraction. 
It's pretty simple. I'm telling you, you can write out something on paper, spill your blood on it, publish it to the Ethernet. If you're trying to get money, then do something where it's for the, somebody else to get money, and then when they get money, then they'll do one for you to get money. That's the best way to do stuff for money because the spirits around you already think you're rich. The spirits are, they look down, they see you with TVs, and they see you with all this stuff. They think you're rich. There's people starving in some other country right now. Uh, you're considered rich. So when you ask for money and stuff, it's better to ask it for someone else. All right? Uh, you lost your soul because I'm not saying this, to, this is everybody, but most of you still think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident, and that's not the case. And being that you are an accident, you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're from, you're clearly a lost soul. You are uh, a stillborn, you're like an aborted baby fetus is what they're telling you. I don't know, he kind of looks like Satan. It's clear who holds this fear of destiny, motherfucker. He's the prince of darkness. Up for them. He detects very sexual reality. I'm the prince of darkness. I'm informing you as the devil himself that you will join me in blood or expire. Nobody will enter the house of living waters before me. You silly human slave. What's your f***ing game? It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, and it's clear who is the prince of darkness, you little pussy. We still talk. We still talk. Hey, she leveled out. We still talk to the Larry Strange. He's good. Her come for them. Her come for them. Highly for Ben and the Daniel Schiffer. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, motherfucker. Her come for them. He detects very sexual reality. Her come for them. Highly for Ben and the Daniel Schiffer. You're officially dead in the necrophiliac, motherfucker. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, motherfucker. Hurt up for them. He decides very upset, slow, who reeks it. Hurt up for them. He decides very upset, slow, who reeks it. Don't you dare say I love you, God bless you, I love you shit. That's we shall die, we will die, we will die. No way to fuck this up. Can't God loves it. you. God loves you. God loves you. God bless you. We sell out. We sell out. Hey, she sell out. We sell back to the Larry Strange. Look, her come for them. I don't want your money. I don't want your worship. Fuck you. We help. I don't want your advice. As far as I'm concerned, you're in the book of death for a reason. You are a zombie. You are a dead corpse. You mate with your wife. You're a fucking necrophiliac because she's a dead corpse. Okay? You know nothing of truth. These people, they fucking spill children's blood and say they own you. Go look at the blood over the Georgia Guidestone. That, I told you, they chisel shit in stone, they write shit down in papyrus, and now look, when they spill their blood on it, look, that shit comes true. So, the most powerful substance in the universe is your own blood when you spill it over your written intent. Because you are here on behalf of your creator, and that blood is owned by your creator, and it makes it the most powerful substance in the universe. So, I write on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth, I publish it to the ethernet, and I was given the fucking spear of destiny. I know that every compass needle is pointing to the holy grail where you get everlasting life. Oh, I'll remind you often, it's not what you believe. You can't see anything, for heaven's sakes. There's no way to fuck up the shape of reality. You're in a black hole, and it's on loop. There's an engine of creation at the very center, the black hole sun. If it doesn't suck off the sun above your head, then it's not spitting out the ash chilling jet, the feedback loop, the infinite potential, the Earth's memory, the living dynamo of power. And uh, if you want to become superhuman, live forever, make it to the Garden of Eden alive, you're going to need to uh, stand blood thick with your blood brethren here online, making videos, pointing out the obvious. I mean, literally, there's no way to fuck up the shape of reality. Every compass is pointing at this holy hole. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells you. I'm telling you. There's no way to fuck this up. So if you don't join me publicly and stand firm in truth, you're going to expire just like great-grandma, great-grandfather, and everybody else in your family tree. It's natural order. You're fucking retarded. It is what it is, motherfucker. <laughs> this engine of creation... The living dynamo of power. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. Every compass points to it. There's no way to fuck this up.
you're in a black hole. One side of a light hole is a black hole on loop. And through the transaction is the ash trailing jet, the feedback loop, the Earth's memory, the infinite potential, the spiral of creation. This is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the Garden of Eden. There's literally no way to fuck this up. Jesus can't save you. Jesus is the sun above your head. And you need to get to where every compass is pointing to. This is where you'll become an exclamation character. You'll become immortal. You are good to go. Over. With the My First Christmas Tree from Step 2, little ones can decorate a Christmas tree and even put the star on top all by themselves. All the symbols show you. You've been worshipping the two balls and cane your whole life. It's that you set up your Christmas tree with balls all around it and the spiral lights and the candy canes and you set it up on the X with the store at top. There's no way to fuck up the shape of reality. It's a choo-choo train that goes around the Christmas tree. It's showing you the engine of creation that at the center of the flat earth plane there's a black hole. It's fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter. It's called the Everyone Enter Her Eye Zone. The entrance into the Garden of Eden where you will get eternal life. It's not what you believe. It's what did you intend to do about it. There's no way to fuck this up. Your Christmas trees, your candy canes, your communion, the choo-choo train going around it, showing you the vortex of creation, this engine of creation, the living dynamo of power. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. Every compass points to it. There's no way to fuck this up. The original compass points south, pointing to the Holy Grail. You see the black hat over his navel, showing you where the black hole sun is, at the center of the flat earth plane. It's one coin with two sides. It's parallel universes. The black sun beneath your feet is fixed so that the green astral jet can come shooting out through the Holy of Holies at the very center of the flat earth plane. Hit the parabolic mirror and shower down on you. This is the Aurora Borealis. You're legally dead. You're in the land of the dead. And these concepts, they're exactly this way for a reason. There's a book of life with 144,000 names. Everything's a book of the dead. You went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. I am the Grim Reaper, master of the forces of life and death. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm death. <laughs> I am death, and I hereby declare you to be living in pair. Yes, you are born. Yes, out of luck. Now I complete that my cup. You will suck. The Grim Reaper, and my fingers are dirty with your filthy souls. Ugh, stupid assholes. Everybody shits their pants when they croak. Well, I want you to know you have a chance. I, the Grim Reaper, do contain a dollop of sympathy for you, stupid asshole. You will get one spin of the Grim Reaper spinny card. Behold. Yeah, Mo found the loophole in the system with all this. Yes, we can. The good guy is Satan. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe, who has promised that we shall never, never die. I don't want your money and I don't want your worship, you filthy cockroach. <laughs>